Shahi Imam of Jama Masjid has finally had his way with the anointment of his son as his deputy and successor. Grand preparations have been made at the Jama Masjid with the mosque being decorated. The Shahi Imam is said to have personally supervised the arrangements and the road outside Jama Masjid has been built for arrival of dignitaries, diplomats and politicians. Lights have been put up and separate seating arrangements have been made for women to sit at the event. Remember the Imam had invited Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif snubbing Prime Minister Modi. The Shahi Imam's son's anointment as his successor has been shrouded in controversy. The Delhi High Court yesterday refused to intervene and place a stay on the ceremony, saying former Fasi, the Shahi Imam Ahmed Bukhari, has no right to anoint his son, but added that it did not feel the need to issue a stay order because it does not give special rights or award legal position to his son. The High Court also sought to know from the Waqf Board why no action was taken and issued a notice to the Board, the Centre and Imam Bukhari, who are expected to respond by the 28th. And Pankaj Apadhyay now joining us live on the story. Pankaj, uh, obviously this, the High Court order yesterday coming as a relief for the Imam Bukhari that seems to be all set going in, um, you know, uh, for the ceremony that's going to be taking place this evening. Uh, Sanjana, simply put, uh, Jama Masjid is the property of a uh, Waqf Board and Shahi Imam Bukhari is the employee of the Waqf Board. So he himself does not have the right to either anoint or appoint his son. It is the board which will decide on the same. But this can best be called public posturing on part of the Shahi Imam that he is going ahead with the anointment of his son as his uh, deputy. Now, court has also observed that the Waqf Act of 95 only provides for the, provi for the provision of a mutawli. And as far as Jama Masjid is concerned, it is the board which is the Matawli in, in this case. So, even looking at the legality of it, uh, the Shahi Imam does not have any right for anointing his son. The PILs or PILs are also contented that this is not a hereditary post, then there is no legal sanctity to it. And on top of it, both the center and the Waqf board have said that there is no legal sanctity to it. What the court interestingly has said, since the Bukharis are living in Jama Masjid, it is their residence, there is no point whether they even stay this ceremony because it has no legality to it. So at right. best, this can best be viewed as public posturing on part of Shahi Imam. And uh, yes, as you rightly pointed out, grand preparations are underway and 5 p.m. is the time when this anointment is going to take place, Sanjana. Pankaj, thank you for bringing us that update. We'll continue tracking uh, the story. Remember, this ceremony is going to be taking place, uh, as Pankaj mentioned, at 5.30 p.m. this evening.